Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here rolling solo dolo for this final episode of season one of the Mexico City Golden Eagles franchise. It's the year in review, folks. We're going to go over the stats and everything that happened in the season. It was the season of the subs on the team with us as players. So we will go ahead and go through everything. Uh, we will not be doing a second season at this time. Uh, not to say we will never do a second season. We may uh, do it later, add more subs into it, things like that. So, But right for now, we're going to move on to a different franchise. Another relocated one that we will find out here soon where it will be going. So first off, we're going to round out the season with the stats. Um, so it looks like me, Jonas, I threw for uh, 5,600 yards and 61 touchdowns and six interceptions. And then here is where I brought in the backup quarterback for one series because I was underperforming. And I uh, did pretty well with him. So then we go to rushing. We got TNT Dynamite, 336 attempts, 1,800 yards, and 18 touchdowns. Averaged 112 yards a game. Fucking great season. So let's go to receiving. We have Cynthia Ruthen with 85 catches and 2,500 yards and 28 touchdowns. Just ridiculous stats. Cooper Swagger, 72 catches, 1,300, almost 1,400 yards. And 16 touchdowns. Still a ridiculous season in his own right. Pitts really came off the end. Uh, I really enjoyed Pitts, Birch, Samuel. We even had DNT catching catch passes. But obviously you can see it was mainly Cynthia Ruthen and uh, Cooper Swagger. Our blocking, and eh, our team was trash. Um, defense, let's see here. So Bryce Hog Hogger had the most tackles. And then our cornerbacks, a lot of our secondary. So our team, our defense was pretty trash. We knew that. Tackles, four sacks. Who had sacks? So we had Eli Harold and Preston Smith. Both had some sacks. My defensive tackle. So our line had basically no sacks, which is terrible because theirs should be the ones getting the sacks. But regardless, uh, Bryce Hager had four interceptions. So he had a pretty good year. I think he's kind of trash, though, to be honest. I'll have to look at his uh, uh, rating here shortly. Kicking, Young Hoku only missed two two kicks. Uh, they were both over fifty, so he made uh, scored eighty one touchdowns this season. We only missed two. One was blocked, so we missed one. Uh, let's see, punting. How do we do, Michael Plardy? Eh, decent. I was trying to kick short so I could cause fumbles and shit, so it wasn't really all that accurate. Kick return, Shedrick Pitts and uh, Javante Reeves both both had decent returns. And punt returns. Let's see. Javante, five yards is fucking terrible. So, all right. Let's go ahead and do the uh, year-end awards. We will do the yearly awards. MVP. Fuck yeah. Jonas, the MVP of the league. It's funny. The four, four people out of the top three, Jonas, Dynamite, and Cynthia Ruthen out of the top three. Four is uh, uh, Cooper Swagger didn't make the list, unfortunately, for MVP. Coach of the Year, Bruce Arbor, a.k.a. Dwayne Wade. We'll go ahead and go to NFC. So Offensive Player of the Year, the three of us, uh, Jonas, Cynthia Ruthen, and Dynamite is, oh, yeah, I guess uh, Swagger isn't on there either. Defensive Player of the Year, Bryce Hager for our team. And down here we even had Dante Jackson. And Eli Harold. So we had three guys in the top ten for defensive player of the year. Rookie of the year. The Jonas. The Dynamite. Cooper Swagger. Pitts. And Birch. Holy shit. So we had one, two, three, four, five out of the top ten offensive rookies of the year. Defense rookie of the year. We had, who's this? Sean Aiken. He was down there sixth. What, best QB? Jonas. Best running back, TNT Dynamite. Best wide receiver, Cynthia Ruthen. Uh, let's see here. Offensive lineman, anybody? No. Defensive lineman, nope. Linebacker. I like how he wins defensive player of the year, but doesn't win best linebacker. That's stupid. Best defensive back, nope. Kicker. Young Hoku's number six. 
and back to Offensive Player of the Year. So let's go ahead and check NFL records. I think we broke some NFL records, season records. Yeah, uh, most pass yards in a season. I broke that one. Pass TDs. I broke that one. Rushing yards. Uh, no, we didn't do that quite yet. Uh, rushing TDs. Uh, no. Nope, nope, nothing there. Receiving yards. Cynthia Ruthen broke the NFL record for most yards in a season. Receiving touchdowns. Cynthia Ruthen broke the record. So let's see here. And then let's see if we had any game records. Jonas had uh, 558 yards. I believe that was in the Super Bowl. Because I had to really, or maybe it was the NFC Championship game. Yeah, so, all right. So I set a record for most pass yards in a game. Pass TDs. Nobody. Rush yards in a game. TNT Dynamite set the record, 307. That was in the playoffs as well. Rushing TDs. Nobody. Receiving yards. Uh, Cynthia Ruthen and Pitts both had almost 300 yards in a game. So I believe... Uh, Pitts was probably the NFC Championship game. He he really came on. Receiving TDs in a game, nothing. So, all right. So, there is that. Let me go ahead now and go through and show the team and where everybody's at here at the end of the season, the final roster of the first inaugural season of the Golden Eagles. So, we have a quarterback. We have a Jonas. I'm at a... 87 overall, <clears throat> Davis Webb, he'll be gone. Uh, halfbacks, TNT Dynamite is 81 overall. And then we have this backup, uh, Javante Reeves, he'll be hanging out at uh, 78 overall. Fullback, Elijah Wellman, he's going to be gone. He is freaking garbage. I do want to see what his... Yeah, he's pretty bad. I think I'm going to try to find a different fullback. It may blow up in my face, but we'll see. Wide receiver. Um, so we got Cynthia Ruthen at 93 overall. Then we got uh, Samuel, Birch, and Pitts, who Pitts is, Pitts is blowing stuff up. It's because he's so fast. He's 96 speed and 95 acceleration. So, all right, let's go to tight end. Cooper Swagger, 79 overall. He's definitely doing well. Um, tight end position, left tack. So here's our, here's our line. Our line is definitely uh, has more to be desired. Uh, so, I mean, we do have an 82 left tackle. Um Left guard is at 73 and 72. They're both, I mean, they're all rookies. Was this guy a rookie? No, this guy was a rookie. So we, our line is pretty much full of rookies. Uh, center, rookie, not a rookie. So that guy is only 74. He was a rookie this year. This guy was a rookie. 75, right tackle. Uh, so we have, yeah, he's, they're trash though. I mean, they're not rookies, but they're garbage. Uh, left end, Morgan Fox. Uh, Calvin, all right, 78, right end, F.A. Odaba and Marquise Haynes, both not very good, defensive tackle, Vernon Butler Jr., Jay Bromley, everybody's really bad on defense, um, Eli Harold, oh, so he was, he was one of the guys that was up there for defensive player of the year, and he's not even that good, so, middle linebacker, Hager, oh my god, dude, defensive player of the year, you're 71 overall, I mean, it's like, it's like your um your skills are lying, you know. So there's Sean Eakin. He was a partially rookie of the year. Right outside linebacker Preston Smith, one of the other best players on the team, I guess. At 81, we'll go in here. We will do the cornerbacks. So there's uh, Dante Jackson, Jay Bradbury, Seymour Cockrell. So I actually have some decent uh, cornerbacks. Cockrell, I'm gonna let him go. He's old. Corn Elder, like that dude. So, because his name's Corn, uh, free safety, Rashawn Golden. Yeah, my 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 secondary is not very good either. Kendrell Bryce. I mean, God, nobody is, nobody's very good. I pretty much need everything. Young Hoku. I just liked the name. I may actually get rid of him. Michael Polardi's okay. How many picks we got? We got the first overall pick. Oh, hell yeah. We traded from Denver and got the first overall pick. So we have one, two, three, four first round picks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven second round picks. So we should be able to seriously upgrade this team in the offseason, which should be great. Um, let me go ahead and... Uh, Go over here, show the final standings of everybody in the league. Let's see here. So we got uh, AFC North. It was uh, the Bengals and the Ravens made the playoffs. The Browns were actually 8-8. Eight eight. Everybody had a winning record or at least broke even. 
Love to see the Steelers in last. AFC South, uh, Jacksonville Jaguars, 11 and 5. Nobody else made the playoffs. AFC East, Patriots, of course, 10 and 6. Uh, and AFC West, let's see. It was the Chargers and the Chiefs. So the best team was the Chargers. They did make the Super Bowl. And they did lose to us. So, ha. NFC North, the Packers made it. And then we have the NFC South. It was us. The Golden Eagles and the Falcons also made it. We were undefeated. Um, let me see here. NFC East. Uh, the Viking. I'm sorry. The Redskins and the Cowboys, both uh, with over 10 wins, made it. And NFC West, just the Rams. Wow, the Rams fucking sh had a shootout with us. So, so that's where everybody else ended up for this season. Uh, let me go ahead and show you, out of all those players that I showed you, who will not be back probably because I need to resign them. So I'm probably going to... Nobody's really all that great. Um, Rashad Higgins, Jay Bromley. These guys are all, you know, 25, 24, but nobody's really all that good. They're ranked 70, 69, 59. Elijah Wellman's a 66. I'm not going to keep him. Um, see, so you've got James Bradbury. He wants, but he wants over $5 million a year. I need to look at him. I mean, he may need Vernon Butler. He wants what? He wants like a bunch of money, and then he's just he's just old. So all of these guys will probably be gone off of the team. Um, so it's going to be quite a big a big rebuild this this off season. I try to get some free agents. I uh, will also try to um, drop some players, but I will be a little bit of time before we do the off season video. Um, I'll do it right before. Uh, we do another season with these guys, so it's it's refreshed in everybody's mind. Um, so once again, you know, this is the last video of this Golden Eagles franchise for now. Um, it was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we will be moving on to a different team, and uh, we may pull these guys out again at some point and uh, give them another run, see if we can go to another Super Bowl with them. So, But that is all the time that I have for today's video. Um, for the season one season in review, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, uh, leave some comments. If you have any uh, comments about how we did the season, how we do these off-season videos, any of that sort of stuff, we'd love to hear your feedback. We would also, uh, we'll get back to you about it. So, you know, also, lie to your friends. Tell them we're worthwhile. Tell them it's worth checking us out. Tell them we're funny. I mean, if it takes some lies to get people to check us out, you know, that's all right. We don't mind that, the crazy town. But for now, for Jonas... We will see you soon. Be on the lookout for another deconstruction and relocation video. And we will bring another team to see if we can win another Super Bowl. So, for Jonas, I am...